The first time I was told about the importance of hat wearing to church on Sundays was when my mother-in-law was trying to teach me how to properly wear my hat. As she would so often say, Honey, attitude is a big part of a lady's beauty. She was one of the proud practitioners of a great African-American tradition, the wearing of elegant, fanciful, creative, glorious hats to church. Before the sea of change that the 1960s brought in, it was much more common for women to cover their heads in congregations of all kinds. For all their special flair, church heads weren't viewed as fashion statements then. In many religious denominations, women must cover their heads during worship. Although a simple kerchief or climax could suffice, and often did in a pinch, few God-fearing Christians ever entered a church with anything less than a proper hat. Nevertheless, there was more to the hat in black churches than mere fashion. This is part of a distinction between the workday world and the whole Sunday go-to-meeting tradition. If your whole week was ruled by uniforms and aprons and work clothes and boots, then you kept one good suit and you kept one really nice dress for Sundays. And if the culture says that ladies are supposed to cover their heads, and the culture certainly said that the Bible said that you're supposed to do that, then that meant that you needed a hat. And if you needed a hat and it was Sunday, well, then you needed a Sunday hat. So the hats became more and more elaborate, to say the least. On the one level, this symbolized reference for God, but it also displayed respect for the church and for the authority of the elders. But there was one more level to this tradition, a hunger for beauty and for self-respect that came with the generations leading up to the civil rights movement. It was, above all, a demand to be respected by the larger part of society. Hats were crowning glory to God, as our mothers and grandmothers used to say. And that required us to cover well-primed hairdos that took hours of hot combing and curling. God's light shines down upon us, my grandmother used to say. So we're going to look our best for him this morning, honey, aren't we? Besides, as I ended up inheriting all of her collection of hats, I came to appreciate the whole meaning of it, even if I tell myself that because God is so busy on Sunday mornings, a girl needs to make sure that she's really wearing something to catch his eye, and that's the only reason why now I have my own collection of fancy hats for church.